So I am at Otterville. Basically, at least 50% of the track has changed. From here, it looks the same. Straight away, down, nothing has changed here at this tabletop. Uh, this jump is still the same, but yet here has changed. Now we got a triple you could do. Um, if you do do the triple, you end up going really high up and then coming really hard down. Um, I've been doing the double single, which has been working for me, uh, just to stay consistent. Also around the corner here, we'll come around to the side here. This is all changed up. So that's new, that's new. And then also before the double used to kind of end before the corner here, now it's all the way back here. So I've been having problems hitting the pipe here, but the surface here is all loose. So if you go too wide, you end up just drifting everywhere. But this is nice now, this tabletop has changed, kind of cut down get you nice and straight for the jump uh, this is all the same here but the landing for the center double here you actually took off the like flat edge on top so it would buck you if you landed too shallow on it now actually if you cut uh, you know undershoot it it actually uh, doesn't even throw the car off I have zero problems so far today here dug a trench out for the water to go that's why you had that like edge here was so water could flow across instead of down but other than that he changed this up as well he did this last week this used to come down and kind of come up and now it's more flat but this is all new here so kind of a quick little you hit this with too much speed actually happened to me and john you would bottom out here the whole car would just go in the air bam ram right into here and then flip over the top so Make sure when you do come down here, you got to slow it down a little bit. And then this is very nice. Once you do get this nice and perfect, it is so nice to just come off. Nothing has changed uh, in the corner up here or the waterfall section. All the same there. But at the end, the double that was here, he drastically took that down. So um, me and John did run into Billy today here. Uh, didn't break anything, but still a chance. So it is nice if you do come up short on this, it, you know, you're not going to smack the chat. It just basically just goes right around. So buggy was a little more difficult today also because of just how loose this was and my tire came unglued, but truggy having a lot of fun with the truggy. So I did do a 24.8 earlier today, which was the fastest time. John only did, I think a 25.3 or 25.2, he said. Then he ended up bringing the buggy out and... I think like two laps in did a 24.8 a 24.8 and then a 24.6 so uh, mid 24 is basically the fastest right now obviously people will probably end up going faster than that but really liking the changes he has done uh especially over here even though this is all slidey i really like it uh in the truggy so if you can land get a nice drift right around there and just shoot straight out uh, works out good, but if you do drift and then grip and then run into the pipe, that has happened a bunch of times too. So, um, yeah, just a quick little update here. Um, I know John did post some videos of us earlier today and also some other people doing the triple. So my GoPro died or else I'd set it up like I did the last video and film every corner and jump and stuff like that. But uh, I'll have to do that next time. So uh, just a quick little video on my phone and... Uh, yeah, that's it. I'm going to get back to running some truggy. So thanks for watching.